Hi guys, welcome to another Ross Perry Productions video. In this video I have a 2008 Toyota Yaris and I'm going to show you where each of the top-up locations are for your day-to-day -day maintenance fluids. So obviously to do this we're going to go underneath the bonnet and you'll notice I've already popped up the bonnet. If you don't know how to do that just go ahead into the driver's position and pull this lever here. Once you've done that we're just going to go ahead and put our hand above the Toyota badge and pull that lever which is there and we're going to lift up the bonnet. Now we're going to go ahead and put this bonnet stay in that hole there. Once your bonnet's safe and secure we can just have a good look around the engine bay. Now it is nice and small on this car so I'll show you through a few bits. Obviously this is our battery, we've then got our engine bay fuse box, this is our air box with mass airflow sensor, this is the main engine block and underneath this plastic you'll be able to get to your coil packs and spark plug locations and then we'll move down to the cooling system. So these are both part of the same cooling system. This one's the top up for the radiator and this is your reservoir. So it's really important to mention don't ever take these caps off when the engine is hot. Obviously water expands under heat and it could blow out and scold you which is not what we want. So once the engine is cold you can take this cap off and you can fill coolant right up to the top and then this is our coolant reservoir. So you notice just down there we've got a minimum and maximum line and actually on this model it's pretty low so we need to go ahead and top that up. So do make sure you use the correct coolant and coolant is often colour coded so you get blue, green or pink, just check which one your model uses. Moving along we've got our washer fluid here, so this is our washer fluid reservoir that you can just fill up all the way to the top but do make sure you use the dilution or the concentrate and just read the bottle before it's use. It's much better to use one of those rather than just using water because it can extend the life of your windscreen wipers. Moving to the back here we can actually see our brake reservoir. So this is a brake fluid reservoir and it does say it uses dot, uh, dot free brake fluid and actually to make it a bit easier you can take that rubber off there and then you can undo both these clips, a bit hard to do one handed, and then you can actually get to the top of that reservoir just a little bit easier. Just pull the cap off, it's not actually a screw one, sorry for that. And you can see our brake fluid level there. So like I say, this takes dot free brake fluid. So make sure you put the right, right stuff in there. And I would recommend that you always stick with the same brand if you've topped it up previously. And always make sure this cover goes back on. And obviously we then replace our trim. Now lastly we actually have our engine oil which we've got a dipstick and an oil top up location. So this is our dipstick here. You're going to pull that all the way out, give that a good clean. Then you'll pop that straight back in, rest it for a few seconds and then pull it straight back out again. And you'll notice there's two dimples on there and you want to make sure that the oil level is closest to the top dimple. If it is low, we then open up this oil filler cap here, pour our engine oil in there, small bits at a time whilst checking with a dipstick and then when you're done make sure your cap is done up and your dipstick is in. So there we go, that's the main top up locations on a 2008 Toyota Yaris. If you found that video helpful please do give me the thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, check out some of my other videos and subscribe to my channel.